In the last video we talked about view components. In preparation for the video that we are going to do after this one so that we can get this kind of functionality on our uh, application. So when we when I click here the URL changes and the page reloads automatically. Actually it doesn't even reload it just pulls in the data and displays it. So it's a single page app. So if I go back this works but on our current application if I click right here and then I go back that works but if I go here again and click back button in the browser it will take me to the page I've been before so that's not good for us so in this episode we are going to learn about routing so routing is this right here so as you can see this hash bank symbol right here that I've got on uh, this testing movies app and if I click on Big Lebowski the URL changes and the back button works. So we are going to learn how to do that in this episode and then in the next episode we are going to put it all together and make our application behave uh, like this one. So to even start doing view routing you have to download the view router. So this is the official view router right here. I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, on this page you can download the router. You have some introduction right here and the development setup. And you have this documentation link right here. So if you go right here and click English you will get the documentation for the view router but that's okay. So first of all we have to install it. Uh, you have some installation options right here if you are using Node.js and so on but I'm just going to do it the old school way so I'm just going to go to this right here and uh, click on this view router.js set it to raw and then, then I'm just going to copy everything from here and go to my editor and I'm just going to create a new file in the JS directory called view router dot JS okay and I'm just going to paste this in now that I've done that I'm just going to save it go to index.html and I'm just going to copy this out paste it above our app.js of course and do view router so I'm just calling this script right here and that's it now you got the view router uh, plugin installed now let's learn how to use it first of all we have to go to our app.js file and now you see we have this component that we made in the last video so router works with components when you click on a link it actually links to a component as you will see this is a little bit different way of doing Vue.js than we're used to but it's not that hard at all so you just have to set up your project a little bit differently so first of all we have to define our component again but this time we are not going to use this view component command but actually we are going to set it to be a variable so I'm just going to create a variable called hello equals and it's going to equal to view extend view dot extend okay and then we are just open these brackets right here and now you just take all of the stuff that we did in our component before copy it, actually cut it out and just paste it right here. So this is our component right now and it's in a variable called hello. Okay, so I can remove this. Next thing you need to do, you have to define your app. So we are no longer going to be using this app right here, but we are going to be using a new app. So you just do var.app equals view that extent okay and we are just going to leave it to be empty 
uh, right now in a real world scenario of course you would have some data right here and so on just like you have in this view instance right here but for now we just need the root component uh, for our router to work okay now you have to define your router and to do that you just do var router equals new view router okay save it and then you just uh, have to then you have to uh, define your routes so routes are URLs to your components since we have only one component I'm just going to do it like this so router dot map so we are calling this variable right here that we defined here so router dot map and then you define uh, the URL for this component so in our case our component can be hello actually our URL can be hello okay open up this and then we just call the component that we want to route to so when we click on a link uh, that we <coughs> go to that component so I'm just going to define it and it's pretty easy so you just do component and the name of the component as we set it to be this variable hello we just write hello and that's it for that and then there's there's just one more thing we need to do and that's to start our router so you just do router dot start and then you do app so we're calling this uh, root route so that we have to have uh, on our page and we're going to set it to be uh, on our app div so app and that's it save this and if we go to our application right now refresh it as you can see this hello world hello world is gone right now uh, and also if we open up our console we will get uh, this unknown custom element hello did you register the component correctly so we are getting this because in our index.html file we have this hello hello uh, custom tags in our app we are going to delete them now save this and then if I refresh the page everything is gone and that's okay so what's happening right here so first of all our movies are gone because uh, our uh, our root app is this one sorry is this one right here and it doesn't have anything in it for now so also what you can see is that right here we got this hash bank symbol and that's usual for single page apps so we're not getting practically anything on this page right now because if you want to display something when using view router you have to use another custom tag and that custom tag is called router view so you just open it right here I'm going to open it above the filter so router slash view actual dash view and that's it so this is our view router if we save it right here and now refresh the page we still get nothing okay this is because uh, our root route is set to be this app right here which is empty and we still didn't go to this URL right here so this hello URL so how would we go to that URL we can actually just go to the browser and write of course hello and if you do that we get our component that we made in the previous video which only has hello world in its template okay so how would we link that component on our page well that's easy enough uh, we can j go just here and do something like a so we open up an a tag and we don't use href but we use v dash link to link it up and then we set a path so a path for that component is 
just like we did in this app.js so it's hello okay so we do hello close this out and we just write something so hello okay save this we can go back right now as you can see refresh the page we have this hello link right here and if I click that link we get hello world now just for practice let's create another route so we're just going to go to our app.js and I'm just going to copy this out so I don't have to write everything and I'm going to remove this data and I'm actually going to call this variable about us about us and we're going to set it to be a template of about us about us and then we just set our new route so we are going to do another route called about us okay and the component for that route is going to be this one so about us component so okay save this and then we go to an index.html file and just like we defined this template right here for hello we can just do something like what did we call it right here about us is it with a dash or with oh it's with a dash so I'm I'm just going to go right here and set it to be about us and then we can do something like about us open up a p tag right here so do that and do something like okay I add some lorem ipsum text close this out save this and now of course to link to it we just need to add another link so I'm just going to add it below this v link that we did for hello so v link and the path is going to be about us and that should be it if we go right here refresh the page right now ah, come on it should be about us forgot to change that <coughs> refresh the page so we have about us uh, link to the component right now and if I click it we go to about us page and as you can see it's instantaneous so page doesn't refresh so if I go to hello we get here if I go to about us we get here so as you can see routers are pretty cool so this is it for introduction to routes uh, as I said in the next video we are going to dive a little bit deeper in it we are going to learn about named routes and we are going to put all of this together to get something like this so I think this is pretty cool uh, we are going to take this filter and movie list and set it to be a single component also a single movie is going to be a separate component and then we are going to learn how how we can um, link those co two components together so that when we click on a movie we open up a new component uh, on our site so we'll call it the day right here uh, I hope you like this video uh, if you liked it please like it if you like the channel please subscribe to the channel also you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook don't forget all the code that we used right here is going to be on the github repository uh, also the links that we used are going to be in the description below and uh, that's it for this episode in the next episode we are going to bring all of this together and make our single page app to act like this okay so this is it guys i will see you in the next episode